Powerwall 2 is designed to be wall-mounted or floor-mounted, depending on site conditions and customer preference. This video covers the procedure for floor-mounting Powerwall 2. In addition to standard hand and power tools, a dolly will be necessary to transport and mount Powerwall 2. Consider these requirements when determining the mounting location for Powerwall. Plan to install the unit as close as possible to the associated electrical equipment to minimize conduit runs. Do not install Powerwall 2 below or in direct contact with any water sources including downspouts, sprinklers, or faucets. Do not install in a location that is susceptible to flooding or being sprayed by automatic sprinklers. Also, consider the potential buildup of snow or snowdrifts. Do not install Powerwall in an outside location where extreme heat or cold can prevent internal temperatures from operating within the optimal range, which is between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius, which can negatively impact battery performance. Be sure that Powerwall does not impede the drive path of any vehicles. Allow at least 2 inches of clearance on the left side, 6 inches of clearance on the right side, and 2 inches of clearance above power wall. Make sure to allow enough clearance on the left side in order to access the wiring compartment. The height of the on-off switch can be no higher than 6 feet 7 inches. Taking this into consideration, the maximum distance from the bottom of power wall 2 to the floor cannot be more than 39 and a half inches. Be mindful of local AHJ requirements for mounting distances from doors and windows. With these clearances and considerations in mind, the floor mounting procedure begins with the wall bracket. For wood frame walls with studs 12, 16, or 24 inches on center, first find two adjacent studs. For floor mounting, Make a mark 9 and 3 quarters of an inch above the finished floor on one of the studs. This will be the location for one of the bottom fasteners. Hold the wall bracket in place, adding the first bottom fastener. Use quarter inch stainless steel screws and washers appropriate for the mounting surface. Ensure a minimum embedment of 2 and a half inches into each stud. Be sure to account for the thickness of any surface such as sheetrock or exterior siding. Level out the wall bracket. Then proceed to add the top fastener on the opposite side, making sure to keep the bracket level. Proceed to secure the remaining fasteners. Confirm the bracket is securely mounted into the wall. Consult the power wall mounting details in the appendix of the power wall installation manual for more bracket attachment information. Use a dolly to transport power wall to the installation location. If the dolly is not padded, use cardboard between the unit and the dolly for protection. Place Power Wall 2 right up against the wall and work with the teammate to lift the unit by tilting the dolly back, which raises the unit a couple of inches. Lower the dolly while keeping pressure on the unit toward the mounting bracket. Ensure that the cleat on the back of Power Wall mates with the flange on the mounting bracket. Listen for an audible click when Power Wall is correctly seated onto the bracket. Confirm that the unit is level. Inspect the base to check for any gaps that may occur on sloped floors. If necessary, use the provided shims to fill any gaps. Snap off any exposed shim to complete the mounting process.